my mentor was Paul Talalay. He was a physician, a medical doctor, cancer specialist. And he, in the 1980s, he realized that certain compounds in edible foods, especially fruits and vegetables, might be protective against various cancers. And he determined at that time that the epidemiologic literature supported that. It was viewed as sort of a heretic statement. You can prevent cancer with food. Of course, now we all accept that. He started looking at a variety of fruits and vegetables, and he had actually just discovered sulforaphane in broccoli. He and his physician from China, Yushin Zhang, in 1992, they published on that. It was a big deal. And they did a variety of studies showing that it could be preventive against cancer, not in humans, but in model systems. And then Paul was looking for someone to come and help him work on making a better broccoli. As a card-carrying botanist, plant physiologist, I was attracted. I had been working on broccoli in the early 80s. I realized quickly that you don't grow, breed, harvest, and test a lot of broccoli in Baltimore, Maryland in the middle of the winter. So I started screwing around with broccoli seeds in the lab and growing little plantlets and determined that broccoli sprouts are way more loaded with the precursor to sulforaphane than market stage broccoli. 